Hello everyone, I'm Justin with MajorMoneyTips.com. In the first video of this series, I showed you how to narrow down your Craigslist search results by setting up customized search queries. In this video, I'm going to show you how to put your Craigslist search on autopilot so you'll automatically be notified whenever your search query turns up new results. If you set up your search queries right, this will allow you to be among the first to view new listings for any specific item that you're looking for, and it'll really give you a major advantage by putting you ahead of your competition to score those home run bargains. Now there are many different websites and applications out there that will send you alerts based on your Craigslist search. But one method many people overlook is a customizable RSS feed built right into Craigslist. With Craigslist customizable RSS feed, you can set up an RSS subscription specifically for your search query. And don't worry, they're extremely easy to set up. You will need to get a program to read and organize your subscriptions. Just simply do a search for free feed readers and pick the one that appeals to you. Most feed readers are applications you will have to download and install, but if you don't want to install anything on your hard drive, then Google Reader is an excellent alternative. It's all web-based, so you, all you really need is a free Google account if you don't already have one. Okay, to create a custom feed, first make sure that you have your search query exactly the way you want it. And for this example, I'm just going to use the same search query that I created in the previous video. Next, just click the RSS button at the bottom right side of the page page will pop up with a bunch of strange symbols and codes and don't get all stressed out and worry about any of this you really don't need it all you need is the URL in your browser's address bar just highlight it with your cursor and press control C to copy it next I'll open my Google Reader once again feel free to use whatever feed reader you want they're all pretty similar you just want to look for a button or a link somewhere that prompts you to subscribe to a new feed just click that button and press control V to paste in the URL and as you can see here is our custom search feed if a feed has new unread listings they'll show up in bold followed by the number of unread listings so it's really easy to see which listings you haven't already read if you notice as I scroll down the listings the number of unread listings actually decreases as we're viewing them it's kind of a neat little feature with Google Reader this is a really convenient way to receive instant notifications of new listings, especially if you're tracking multiple different searches. You can subscribe to as many different searches as you want. The only thing is you have to keep checking your feed reader. But it's a lot more convenient than having to constantly go back to Craigslist and enter your search query all the time. Another way you can receive Craigslist alerts is through email. There are many different websites out there that will send you email updates based on the search query that you enter. Just do a Google search for Craigslist alerts or Craigslist alert app. In the past, I have used HeyCraigApp.com. It's really simple. You just enter your search query, your email address, the city you want to search, and then click the Yoink button. And I'll just go back to Craigslist. And copy my search. Go back to Hey Craig, and enter all of my information. The next thing you need to do is go check your email. You should receive one from Hey Craig. Open the email and click the provided link to confirm your subscription. That's it. You'll then start receiving email updates of your search up to several times a day. You do decide to use email alerts. Make sure you really refine your search query to narrow down your results as much as possible. Otherwise, if your search is too broad, you'll be receiving more emails than you can keep track of and it can really become a nuisance. Also, if you're planning on setting up multiple search alerts, you're probably better off using the RSS feed instead. That way you can keep the new incoming listings better organized and in one central location in your feed reader, instead of having to sort through several different emails. The main thing is, use what you're comfortable with and whatever methods work best for your application. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.